Welcome back to Distant Signal and another video. This is the 28th entry into the Changelings vlog, the 90-day vlog marathon. Like I mentioned yesterday, I had a revelation about Changelings and the genre that I want to place it in, it in the world of the tear. I finally figured out where Changelings belongs in the horror canon. I mean, there's a lot of different subgenres in horror, right? So you have slasher and you have... Um, supernatural horror and all this kinds of stuff, right? So you can really parse the genre down into very specific genres. And I finally figured out what Changelings is. I came across the concept sort of, you know, quite accidentally. I was looking into horror genres and different horror stories, just generally trying to get into the vibe of writing. I was looking at one of my favorite actors who've been in a lot of horror movies, um, Jeffrey Combs. He was in this film called Reanimator. Uh, Reanimator was written by a guy named H.P. Lovecraft, and uh, he conceived of a genre of horror called cosmic horror. And it aligns so perfectly with sort of the themes that I've been talking about regarding changelings, like the things that I wanted to, to tackle. Cosmic horror is defined as a genre where characters are at the mercy of the cosmos that just beneath the surface of what looks like everyday reality is a terrible terrible force or a terrible secret and something that's so horrible that it's hard to put into words and it renders humanity feeling very very small very insignificant against these forces of the cosmos and the characters in these stories really understand that. And the monsters in these stories are typically without form or shape. So movies that spring to mind or, or movies that I've been talking about, The Thing, um, The Void. So these kinds of films where the monster is amorphous. You know, the changeling's creature is amorphous at a certain state, but it plays into the larger story of the tear that it's coming to Earth. You know, it's this thing that, that initially made the changeling that is formless, and it's bringing more of these shapeless, horrible monsters with it. By putting changelings in the genre of, of cosmic horror, it also takes on a certain aesthetics. It's interesting that the that cosmic horror has a certain aesthetic to it, uh, so I can use it or I can subvert it. I, I tend to want to use it. I think it's a really cool aesthetic, and it typically is defined by creatures that have no conceivable shape. So like, like I mentioned before, the thing or the creatures in the void, you know, they are just representations of some terrible force that can't be stopped, can't be reasoned with, that in the face of it, we are made to feel very small. And so I think that these are the kinds of things, these are the kinds of existential terrifying questions that are raised when you put characters in a world where they just have no control. And um, so I want to try to emphasize that more, I think, in the script and put, and really think about how I can put Changelings more squarely into the subgenre of cosmic horror. And I think that in the coming weeks, I'm going to put together a piece on cosmic horror as one of the Changelings pieces. I think it'd be fun to define it and talk about some more modern movies that sort of uh, epitomize the genre. Uh, what's a, a more modern one that I can think of? Um, Event Horizon is a good example. Uh, Under the Skin with Scarlett Johansson is a really good example of cosmic horror. That was a kind of a fun revelation. I thought that you might find it interesting. And I, if you don't know Cosmic Horror, or you should look into H.P. Lovecraft, Reanimator, um, movies inspired by his stuff include In Mouth of Madness by John Carpenter, another, you know, another great reference for Changelings. I'm listening to the audiobook The Mountains of Madness, and that's you know that's one of H.P. Lovecraft's more famous stories. So I'm I'm excited to to pick apart the genre a little bit. Outside of the thing or some of the more popular films, are you into this cosmic horror horror subgenre? Let me know. Comments put it in the comments below. I'd love to hear your thoughts on this particular genre. If you like it, if you hate it, why, why not? And that's it. All right, have a good night and I will see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching. If you like what I do here, Hit that subscribe button, find me on Steam, and support me on Bitbacker. For only $2 a month worth of Bitcoin or Bitcoin Cash, you'll get exclusive content, early access to everything I do, and access to my private Telegram channel, where you can ask me any question you like about the process of making changelings with cryptocurrency. All right, see you there.